Hi, in this video, uh, I will talk about one trick using which you can access private uh, members of a class from outside. So for this, I'll be creating uh, two different files, let's say, uh, uh, like my class.h and main.cpp. So my class.h will in my class.h we will create one class which will have a private member and from main.cpp we will create its object and we'll try to access the private members so let's create my class.h and uh, i'm using the editor so, uh, my class and uh, in this class has declared one private variable integer a and just save it i'm coming out of it and in main.cpp i'm creating main.cpp so it's already there let's create this file first uh, so let me give a name so in this file i will just you know include our stream just to print the value of variable and to access that class I have to include that header file same is my class.h so you can access like this and after that I need to include the namespace for std to use cout and integer main in this function basically main function we will just declare the object of the class so the class name is my class and obj this is how we here so here just for a note we are creating an object of class my class and so now i'm going to access the variable a which is inside object so how we can access this one second see out uh, the value of a is so you can do video dot a so this is how we access uh, members of our object but you know this variable a is declared inside private section of a class so we cannot access it so once you compile it you get in compilation error so let's compile it using g plus plus main dot cpp and i want the executable name to be main dot exe so see you get an error my class a is private within the context it means it is private we cannot access it so the trick is now we'll come to the trick so the trick is so since that a is declared as private in my class dot h so the trick is to do this and we can you know type the private as defined private to public so basically this what this will do is will convert all private members to public and you should do this just before you know uh, including a header file so now let's try what this what happens let me again compile this so you will see it went through and uh, if i run it so if i run it it will print some garbage value it's printing zero so if you do if you want to assign some value, then we we'll modify this and not this one actually. The hydro hydro class, the class in which we have hydro, and inside the public part of it, we can initialize a with some default value. So we can do like uh, public and my class. This is the constructor, and inside the constructor, we can just say. 
a is equal to 100. So since we have changed this, let me again compile the code. Compile it. And if I run now, it would display 100 because we have initialized it with 100. So to avoid this, or to avoid this, what we should do is, or you know, assume if if you have if you are supposed to create some classes and if you are giving it to someone or uh, you are creating some third party library which can be used by other companies or other engineers and uh, so you know people can do like this do put this hack in their code before x including your header files and they can you know uh, you know mess up with the design of your code so it's better to how we can avoid this is to just whenever you are declaring the private members just don't put private you know the default variable are a private so you don't you should we should not put it's good practice to don't put anything don't put private here just put integer array integer array will be considered as a private member anyways so you go back and compile this code again this will again give you the error see is a private in the context so it's good practice to have private members without the private keyword just you do do like this only just don't use private keyword access specifier we also call it access specifier specifier so yeah so that's all i have in this video uh, thanks for watching